Nathan, this is an epic year for trucks. Did you know that there are seven, count them, seven brand new trucks? I am excited. And of course, with seven brand new trucks, we had to pick the best one based on towing, based on off-roading, and of course, based on performance. And today, we're gonna find out which of these trucks is the best performing. So, shall we meet the contestants? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So to find out which of these trucks performs better, we're gonna do a classic TFL drag race. So first and foremost, we've got the brand new Hyundai Santa Cruz. Then of course, in the compact truck class, we've got the Ford Maverick. Now moving up one class, we have the Nissan Frontier. And here's the one that Andre is very excited about because we just bought it. It's the brand new Toyota Tundra. And finally, yes, a perennial favorite, the brand new Raptor, but this one's special. It's rolling on 37s from the factory. I thought you said there would be seven. Yeah, there are seven, Nathan, and I am so bummed because we invited both Rivian and GMC to bring their new electric trucks, but because of timing, uh, they declined. And it's a shame because I think in a drag race, they would have really shown. Hey there. You might be thinking to yourself, man, I hope I don't go bald when I'm older, but here's a part you might not want to hear. Male pattern baldness affects an average of two out of three guys by the age of 35. The best way to keep your hair is by treating it before you lose it. Rather than going to a doctor's office for your hair loss products, Keeps lets you consult a licensed doctor online so you can figure out which hair loss plan best suits your needs. After that, your order is shipped directly to your front door. It's as simple as that. Keeps is an affordable solution to prevent hair loss and a single order lasts you three months. Hundreds of thousands of guys are using Keeps and their reviews speak for themselves. If keeping a full head of hair this winter sounds like something that you want to do, visit keeps.com slash TFL truck or click the link in the description below for 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash TFL truck. Don't let yourself go bald. Save your hair before it's too late. I didn't say anything. Brackets. It's all about brackets. What we're going to do is we're going to start with first bracket. That's going to be the small pickups. That's the Hyundai and the Ford Maverick versus each other. Then the winner takes on the Nissan Frontier, which is a midsize truck. Whichever wins takes on the Toyota. And whichever wins the Toyota race will take on the Ford Raptor. All right, Nathan, let's do this first race. You got the solo DL set up? Indeed, I do. All right, so it's uh... turbo versus turbo, automatic versus dual clutch. You know, it's funny, all these trucks, except for the Frontier, are turbocharged. Presenting a 2.5 liter engine in the Hyundai that puts out 277 horsepower and 311 pound feet of torque, and it's hooked up to an eight speed dual clutch transmission powering all four wheels. Under the hood of the Maverick is a two liter turbo that produces 250 horsepower and 277 pound foot of torque. It is mated to a eight speed transmission, but it's automatic and not a dual clutch, like the Santa Cruz that it's gonna be drag racing against. Oh yeah, oh no. And there we go. Oh no, here he comes. Come on, Maverick, come on. Oh, I had you at the start, Nathan, and then you took off. What was your, uh, what was your time? 7.25. That's not bad, that's pretty respectable for being at a mile above sea level. Yeah, there we go. Well, ah, 3D, 7.25. It's quick. I wouldn't say super fast, but it's quick. Zero to 60 Ford Maverick. Here we go. Much better idea. It hangs up in third gear, it's strange. Seven point seven four seconds. We are here at IMI Motorsports, and you too can come and use the track and drag race your own truck, or go play in the motocross part of this really cool 
off-road park. All right, this time I am in the Frontier and you are in the Santa Cruz. Yeah, you're at a disadvantage. You got off-road tires and stuff and you're heavier, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's also mid-size versus truckload, but uh, you know, I've got more uh, green. <laughs> yeah, okay, that'll help. This is the Nissan with 3.8 liter V6 engine. It puts out 310 horsepower and 281 pound-feet of torque. It's hooked up to a nine-speed automatic transmission. And turbocharged. Bye bye. Yeah, and you still beat me. I'll be damned. Yeah, this thing is pretty quick. It, once it gets going, once this, uh, the turbo lag and the dual clutch figure out what I want, it moves. Yeah, it's a little, uh, it's a little quick. Uh, you know what? Uh, I don't think it's quick enough for a twin turbo Tundra, though. Yeah, <laughs> that Tundra's gonna be fast. Uh, guess what my zero to 60 time was, Nathan? Eight seconds. Oh, you are not right. 9.53, dude. 9.53. Uh, this thing uh, is certainly at a disadvantage without a turbo. Guys, keep in mind that we're going to try to figure out the TFL best truck using not just drag racing, but of course we're going to take them off-road, we're going to tow with them, and all those videos are coming up, so stay tuned for that. All right, Nathan, I am in the Tundra. I have engaged sport mode, and I'm ready to kick your uh, Santa Cruz butt. Yeah, I don't have high hopes. The only thing is that you have the aerodynamic properties of a barn. <laughs> True that. This thing is like driving <laughs> the brick wall, proverbial brick wall, into the wind. 389 horsepower, 479 pound foot of torque under the hood of the Tundra, coming from a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6, no longer a V8. And of course, all that power is paired to a 10 speed automatic. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah, that was a little bit more even. It's just the lag of my of everything kicking in makes this thing slow. But otherwise, I was right on your tail and I never really dropped any further back. It was faster though, 7.13 that time, zero to 60. All right, all right your turn, jump in the Raptor. <laughs> With pleasure. Raptor time, <laughs> That's okay, little Hyundai, you did great. Folks, you get 450 horsepower twin turbocharged V6 in this Ford. It's a 3.5 liter that makes 510 pound-feet of torque, and it's channeled through a 10-speed automatic transmission. I gotta say, Nathan, this is the race I've been looking forward to the most. Yeah, me too. But I think I've got a huge advantage, and that is I'm not rolling on 37s. Yeah, yeah, uh, and I got a lot more stuff on this thing. So this should be interesting. Um, you know, both are off-road versions of you know the their respective vehicles, uh, and both are twin turbos, and both are V6s. Interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't want to lose though. This sounds faster. Oh, it's close. Come on, Ford. It's so close. He's catching up to me. Uh, I honestly don't know. Oh my, I'm not sure which one won, Nathan. That was so close. You got a better start, but I closed in on you and I honestly don't know who won. 
We're gonna have to leave that uh, to the photo finish. Uh, did you get a zero to 60 time? 7.02. It is the quickest. This one was 7.13, so. At least on paper, that's the quickest truck. Uh, but uh, in the real world, we have to go to a photo finish. Roman, turbos ruled the day. Yep, we've lined them up in the order from slowest to quickest, and of course the non-turbo is uh, lined up first, but I gotta tell you, I was impressed by that Raptor with 37s. Actually, all of these vehicles were much quicker than I expected. But this is just the beginning of our TFL best truck testing. We've got off-road, right? Yep. We've got towing. That's correct. We've even got technology coming, so stay tuned for more videos to find out which of these new trucks is the one that's gonna get crowned the king of trucks, Nathan. It will be epic. All right, thanks for watching. Remember, check out tfl-studios.com if you want to get our inside, behind the scenes, news, views, and reviews, everything we do, TFL, it's right there. See you guys next time, ciao.